All right, we've got our first uh, vehicle in the garage. Out of all of them, of course, it's the Dodge Dakota. Um, basically, what happened today is my wipers quit working on me. Uh, I can just move these guys all willy-nilly by themselves now. Now, what I'm assuming it is, is there's a plastic bushing in there. There's a one to break, and then that happens. Now, the way you take your wipers off is pretty simple. You don't know what you're doing. Um, pull that tab out right there at the same time while prying this up. It's exactly what I use, a screwdriver and a pry bar. So now, get up under the ranch. You see this V6 in all its glory. I'm gonna have screws right up along this uh, front of this. I'm missing one, so that's good. That's one less I have to take out then. Get yourself a screwdriver. And why not get a magnet tray so I don't lose these puppies? And you might have to get a uh, impact driver to get these out if they're incredibly rusty. Now I know this truck, however it's an 89, it has a 93 body on it. That screw might be stripped. So that's why I'm assuming mine at least has been replaced before because it matches everything except for the cab. The cab was never replaced, just the rest of it. And that's why there's things such as that done. That's why I probably don't have a vacuum pump hooked up. And I don't have AC hooked up either. And there's some questionable little things done to uh, vacuum lines and some of the wiring, but uh, it's a work rig. It's my going to town rig, gets me where I need to go. Oh, it actually hasn't let me down yet, except for I blew a front tire out first day I had it. But that's neither here nor there. So, looks like I got one, two. So I only had four screws. There should be five. And I was thinking, yes, there's also screws down here in this corner, which Oh, I since I might need a shorter screwdriver to get to that. So I guess there's going to be seven screws in all. And I got a puppy up my feet. So I got to watch out and not step on him. Or he will be unhappy. But, uh, yeah. I um, guess I might as well pull them all out because I'm this far in. Of course. <laughs> That is a Torx, uh, Torx, uh, Torx head. So that's in the house. So we'll come back once that's off. Um, the other thing you have to make sure to do is unplug your uh, washer fluid sprayers. So uh, back in a second. So I got the piece off. Just threw it on the roof because, well, this thing's not the greatest paint job in the world anyways. And then this guy should just be pulled towards you. Get it off. I would say if you have a friend, though, it'd be a good time to have one for that. I'm by myself. It wasn't a big deal. Worst thing was getting this guy off. He's got to twist it back and forth and pull. And again, same thing this side. Get it off. Like I said, puppies with the cat. They're not what we'd call best of friends. So this is actually... Somebody has... Mess with that. That should be where the bushing's at. I have a net there. But my problem apparently then is it's not connected back in here, which it was my thought that they should both be connected in the same area, which it seems like I, there's no way to show you what's in there, sadly. And I don't have my flashlight out here. That thing's on a short short cord. And my phone's in my hand. And where's my other old flashlight at? It has vanished. Well, this gotta work, if it works. It does. So, I'm gonna go upside down. As you can see, that should be on there, and that has come off. And, oddly enough, there's a little plastic thing on there. 
So basically, it seems like it's the exact same thing as maybe what's in the middle. I haven't looked. See, that should not be a couple bolts. That should be a plastic uh, bushing. I'm not sure how they did that. Back down the center one, though. It has some kind of a keeper on it to stop it from coming off. So, what I'm wondering now is if the uh, brushings I have actually might be exactly what I needed, even though I did not think they would be at all. These little guys. Now, the big downside to what I'm doing is this is going to be much more difficult to work my hands down in there and connect two things instead of connecting just one because I was thinking that would be the one I'd need to do and that wouldn't be that bad however this one I don't think I'll be able to record any of the process but I should be able to uh, at least do it and give you guys some insight on it so I'm probably going to go ahead and just do it without recording it. Uh, I, I, I honestly figured it'd be this one. But I knew these two were attached. Whenever I ran this one, I would. whenever I ran my, my uh, what do you want to call them, wipers, I could hear a bad noise. So I thought originally that this was off, which is, is what it is. But uh, after looking up information, it was always right here. So I figured, okay, well, that's what it is. I can do that pretty easy. You know what? That's a screw. That is a screw with a metal bushing on it. That's how somebody did that. So I guess what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix this. And I'll try to give anybody any uh, tips or help that I can with it. Um, this honestly makes a lot of sense now because my my uh, wipers had way too much slop in them anyways. So that explains a lot. Which, if one of these bushings will fit over that, I might just go ahead and throw them on anyways. Because it'd be nice to get rid of that slop. And it's only going to waller that hole out more, probably. So, um, I'll try to get back with you guys on this one now. Sadly, I had to actually figure out how to undo those that double nut and everything. And this is actually what you're working on, is you're trying to get these uh, plastic guys in here. Now, the easiest way I know how to do this is you take it, set it on your socket, use your big pliers that you can't really see, and then you squeeze it down. Um, I would have shown you guys how to do it, but <laughs> one-handed, not happening really. And now what I should be able to do, which will still probably be a pain, which sadly, I won't be bolted in anymore, which I have no idea how to get that screw out. I don't know how somebody even did this, honestly. But uh, yeah, that screw. Now, I mean, they must have taken out the entire motor assembly to do this because there is no way in hell I'm getting that thing out of there now. But that's basically what you want. Um, if I'm at it, I could probably... That one's still not bad. I mean, it's not good. It's dry. But the smart thing for me to do would be take that one out right now and replace it. Because in all honesty, I'm probably going to put the nuts back on. Which isn't really what I want to do. But that's what I'm going to have to do. Because of what somebody did to this. Um, my other option, I guess, could be... Drill a hole in that, which I actually probably do that. That'd be the smartest thing to do. Drill a hole in it and uh, put it back in and call it a day. Because, yeah, that's how they sit. That one in that pin, this one in this pin. Um, the odd thing is it seems like there's no retainers that actually hold them into place. But uh, that's, that's how Chrysler designed it, I guess. So um, I'm going to call it a wrap on this one. Uh, like I said, I'm going to drill a hole in this guy, put it back in. You shouldn't have to do that, theoretically. That's what I have to do because, to be honest, it's from 1989. It's, what, 31 years old? So it's had some changes. i got to think, yeah, I was born in 92. This is three years older than me, so it's 31, yeah. Possibly 32 now that's 2021, but who knows? But, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do all that, button everything up. Um, obviously, assembly is the exact opposite of disassembly, so, uh, that's all. Thanks for watching.